We are headed today to the Katora Ladder. You can enter from the gate, which is eight euros, but we're gonna take the back way through the cheese shop, hopefully, and join with a bunch of my friends. So let's go. Good morning, friends, and welcome from the old town of Kator. We are just exiting the old town because we are hiking up the mountain today. This mountain up here. We're going to the top where there is a fortress and also a cheese shop, but we will be taking you the back route to try and save us eight euros. It's kind of suggested by locals, kind of not. So it's like an in-between, not really sure which direction to go, but let's go to the top. So joined today with a bunch of new friends. This group is my group of friends. We're all living in a co-living space right now. So it's really fun to be doing an activity together and you might see some of them in the video. But yeah, we all kind of work remotely. We don't kind of, we do. And so today's our day off, it's a Saturday. And so we are maximizing the sunshine even though it just completely downpoured and stormed for 30 minutes prior to this. It's beautiful out now, so time to take advantage of it. Reiterate, we are in Kator, which is Kator. Trying to pronounce it a little bit more properly, like local, in Montenegro, which is probably the most touristy part of the country. I've actually stayed in Bar and Nikšić as well in Montenegro, um, which feel much more like a local vibe. Bar is a huge port town, and Kator is where cruise ships come in daily, and people are touring the old town, which is just to my right. There is plenty of national parks around here. There is a gondola that runs in the high season for the summer. People just come in to explore and to hike and there's also the largest natural fjords here. It's just an absolutely beautiful area to have the mountains. <laughs> the mountains and then the sea is less than a kilometer away. I'm gonna be playing catch up all day to catch up with the group. <laughs> this is the town of Kator below me. Starts to go into Dobrota, Dobrotar as well, which is a beautiful running route from Kator along the waterfront to Dobrotar highly recommend yeah now we're just going up this winding path this way and then all the way up to the top All right, so we're about an hour, not an hour, we're 20 minutes in. It's definitely a really easy hike. There's a marked trail, easy to follow. It's a little bit of like stones, but most of us have running shoes on or hiking boots and it's just so beautiful. It's like nice inclined beginner. Whitney wants to be in the vlog. Hi! <laughs> So 
So we just came up the mountain top and there's a really important fork in the road. So you can see my friends behind on my left shoulder. This goes up higher to the top of the mountain. Sometimes there's a cafe and like a little cheese shop. I think I'm accurate in saying that or some kind of little cafe of sorts. But if you continue this way, so coming up to the left of the house, if you go up this way, this is where you can find the hole to the fortress. And the fortress is obviously behind me right there. So it's a really important kind of fork in the road. We're gonna keep going since the weather is so nice this morning and we've completely locked out. We're gonna keep going. So I'm going left of the house now. We're gonna go to the top. And then also because you can kind of sneak into the fortress, you can go down the fortress way normally. And I just wanna clarify, I'm not opposed to paying to peep something historical. But then part of me is wondering like if I paid eight euros, also just like, look at this view, this is crazy. If I paid eight years to support the cheese shop instead, what difference would that be? So we'll keep going. What I'm finding in this uh, Balkan time of year, the rain comes and when it comes, it is heavy and thick and smashing on your window and then it disappears for a bit and it probably will come again this afternoon and the sun right now is setting at 4 30 p.m which is just insane so kind of have to like the idea of carpe diem seize the day get out and explore and it's so nice to be in a tank top in november because back home in canada it's snowing so we're gonna keep exploring up to the top of the fortress we catch up to the group I thought why not talk about my outfit a little bit so I've got my decathlon Canada running vest on and I've got a hat from four clays which is also decathlon I've got on the little lemon line tank top blue lemon leggings because basically I only have this as a workout outfit because I only pack carry on I've got on running shoes and a fleece hand-me-down shirt and it's working out perfectly and a vest so I took it off On my video? YouTube. No. <laughs> you wave. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but not the mango one. Is the mango yeah. one extra sweet? It's kind of just like a weird combo. Do you not like it either? Someone didn't finish their summer's bee, so gotta take it for the team. A random thing about Montenegro is there's so much summer's bee available here. And like next door in Albania, they've never heard of cider or summer's bee. So that's an interesting random fact. So now we have just left. Behind me is where the little house is. And if we go this way down around the corner is apparently how we get to the castle. That's what the gentleman was saying. Or we can go back down to the fork in the road and then zigzag back obviously down into Kator. Here we go. And I probably should not have a camera and a glass bottle in my hand trying to hike down a mountain. No. <laughs> Cause that'd be stupid. <laughs> Felicia behind me. Felicia is from, where do you identify from? Oh wow, we're doing this. I'm from Jamaica <laughs> slash US. <laughs> yeah. She's here as a co-liver too, exploring. So this is really important. These are trail markers so you know where you're going. Oh really? Yeah, they're red and white.
so we went through the the hole. <laughs> Got my hand super damp, but then another people <laughs> told us that they are checking tickets like down the stairway here. So we'll go down maybe a little bit, but then we're gonna have to come back up to exit through the freeway again because they are checking tickets. And it's crazy because like I can probably see my bedroom window from here because I look at it every morning. But we'll have to go down the stairs and come back up to save eight euros. hiking closer to the top of the fortress now but this that that is old town Couture. somewhere down there is my bedroom window and I look up to this view every morning and at night they light part of the fortress up it's really well done actually really stunning and so it's so cool to get to the top and see the reverse view I think there actually is more stairs up but I feel like this is like so nice because the sun's about to hit behind the mountains the sun sets so freaking early here it's just so nice to look down to the old town to Couture to some of the surrounding towns it's pretty magical Officially now at the top of the fortress and we've hiked part of the way up. I definitely would suggest hiking either the zigzag route we went to the cheese shop or going up the proper stairs. If you went up the proper stairs it'd be like Grouse Mountain in Vancouver if you've ever done it. It's like nature stair climber. But yeah tons of space and really cool to see how this part of the fortress kind of encompasses the old town. And really cool that that's actually where I've been staying for the last week and for the next three weeks ahead. Yeah it's pretty sick and you can see the Montenegro flag behind us and just an incredible viewpoint to see the sea and the waterway where the cruise ships come in between the mountains and the fjords. found some goats. All right, we're finishing the vlog at the top of this mountain here. It's been such a lovely time getting to hike with other people and I highly suggest this visit up again, whether either you take either direction. It's very a progressive incline, so I'd say it's like maybe like a three out of 10 in terms of difficulty, sneakers, but you can wear just like regular sneakers. But if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. If you wanna see more of my friends as well, you should definitely hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you in the next one.